from Montana, Steve Dane, says his state is a northern border state with a southern border crisis thanks to the reach of these cartels. And he joins me now. Senator, thank you very much for being here. Um, do you believe that designating these cartels as terrorist organizations is a good idea? And do you think it will happen? Well, it's, it's a good idea. Look, enough is enough. Uh, these Mexican cartels are invading our country and they're spreading fentanyl methamphetamines across our communities. A hundred thousand Americans now are dying every year because of this. That's equivalent to having a major airliner crash every day in our country. Ninety percent of those drugs are coming from Mexican cartels. It's costing us about a trillion dollars a year. That is why we've got to do something about it. As I'm back home in Montana, Montana law enforcement tells me it's Mexican cartels and fentanyl and methamphetamines that are causing the scourge. It's a direct uh, cause of the violent crimes we're seeing in our communities. It's because of these cartels and these drugs. And so designating them foreign terrorist organizations is entirely appropriate because what it will do is it gives us more tools in the tool chest. It puts all the resources of intelligence the federal government focused on these nine named cartels, where they're manufacturing these drugs. And second, it's options here certainly for the use of U.S. military. You know, law enforcement has limited options to deal with this scourge. We've got to put every tool that we know in play to protect our country. You know, I, I spoke recently with Steve Murphy, who is former DEA, and he and his partner, Javier Pena, took down Pablo Escobar in Colombia as part of the Drug Enforcement Agency in Colombia. And here's what they said about how coordinated the agencies were in that effort. Watch this. We were fortunate enough to have uh, U.S. Army's Delta Force and the U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6 Dev Grew with us in Colombia. Mm. Like you said, like Bill Barr said, we do have the capability. The question is, do we want to invade a sovereign country right on our border? So, you know, they had Delta Force, they had SEAL Team 6 with them in Colombia. Um, and as he said, Bill Barr has said, this is what needs to happen. Is there any indication that there is an appetite from the White House or from Democrats in Congress to go well, this far? Well, look, I mean, our president didn't have the guts to shoot down a Chinese spy balloon over our country. So clearly there's a lack of will in this White House to do the right thing to protect our country. But we're going we're to build a coalition here. We've already got a number of Republican senators. I hope we can find some Democrats to join us. At some point, you've got to say enough is enough. That's what we're saying, because it's not a fair fight right now for law enforcement. They're being overwhelmed because no, the Biden administration not. has allowed the cartel to control the southern border. You know, I, I, just super quick out of this, if you can, sir. Um, this is Andy Harris asking, where is the vice president who was put in charge of root causes here? What is she doing? Watch this. When was the last time she was at the border? Not within 100 miles on an energy project, at the border. When was the last time? A congressman. It was um, June of 2021. I know you're delaying. It was June of 2021. She's only been there one time, two million crossings ago. Now, let me tell you something. If you have a problem somewhere and you're running an organization, you actually keep on visiting the border to figure out if you're solving the problem. Our border czar should also resign. Quick thought on that, Senator, if you would. Well, there's a complete lack of leadership. She's running away from the border versus going to the border. She needs to get down there, spend time with the Border Patrol, and see the reality. This is destroying so many communities in our country. We need the administration to act with us. Yeah. Um, everybody should want to face this problem, regardless of what, you're, what party you're in. Uh, and um, it, it seems like it can be addressed. Thank you very much, Senator Daines. Good to have you with us today. Thanks, Martha.